Hello and welcome all my little chocolate muffins. It is I, Cleo, your hostess with the mostest, and today we're going to be doing a one-shot let's play of Reyes. Or is it Reyes? Reyes? Ross? Ross? I'm sure it's Reyes. It must be Reyes. Anyhow, this is a fun little game, I am assuming. I don't know, I haven't actually played it, but it looked fun. That is actually on sale on Steam right now for the next 20 hours for $5. Otherwise it's otherwise it's uh, $10, so, you know, not that huge of a jump. But anyway, it's one of those god games where you basically play these little gods and uh, you build a world. But yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't, whoops, I don't really know what we're doing. But uh, let's just jump right in and see what happens, shall we? And uh, I already had this game <laughs> crash the desktop on me once, so hopefully it doesn't do that again. The no error message just crashed the desktop. Press any key to start. Ah, oh, where's the any key? Yuck, yuck, yuck. You have awakened from your slumber. You find your surface dry and barren. It is lifeless. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> Zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the up and down arrow keys. You can always press the question for ne extra info. Use the left mouse button to click and drag the planet. Ooh. You can also use the arrow keys to move left and right. Using what little strength you have, you create the ocean giant and the rock giant. Oh man, is this like From Dust? I love From Dust. The instruments of your will. Yeah, ocean giant. Why don't you make a big old puddle so we can uh, get this evolutionary track going. He looks like a crab that's adorable. Oh, they're so cute. Your goal is to have life roam your surface eternally. And for a start, you will turn this dry wasteland into a paradise. You can click on a giant or its portrait in the lower left corner with the left mouse button to view its ability bar at the bottom of the screen. You can use the right mouse button to click on a patch of land to order the selected giant to move. Move the giant rock and ocean giant towards each other. Now kiss! Come on, guys. Have a party. Oh, look at that, they're so cute! Oh, now they're together. You can use blah blah blah. Yeah, we did that. Use spacebar to pause the game. You can still order things, blah blah blah, but you can't move the thing forward. Okay. You can use the left mouse button to click on a patch of land and view its statistics in the upper right corner. No natural source, wasteland. Well, that's not a very useful patch. Dry wasteland cannot sustain any life and must be terraformed in order to become habitable. Use the Create Ocean ability from the Ocean Giant on a nearby patch to create an ocean. Alright, let's do it. Creating an ocean on a village will destroy it! Go, little crab guy! Get to work! Do your job! Although those kind of look like eggs, actually. I don't know if those are like eggs or claws. Oh, look at him go! He's so cute! <laughs> Oh, the little crab god. Yeah. Well done. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <gasps> we have a new god, and look, he's super happy, and he's like a monkey or something. You can also double click on a giant's portrait in the lower left corner to zoom in on their location. The forest giant flows with life. Its powers will allow it to create lush forests. Use the forest giant to create, or to rise a forest. Forests require water from the oceans. Alright. So... Although, you know, it's kind of strange because oceans would have salt water and plants need not salt water, but that's alright. Whatever. This is fantasy. We can totally have evergreen forests right on the edge of an ocean. Why not? Good! Forests require water from the oceans. You can sense the life flowing back into your core. The rock giant has gained a new ability! Oh yeah. Wait, why do we want a desert? To turn surrounding dry wasteland into desert. Right there on the ocean. Oh! I has the power. Uh oh! We just made the Serengeti. Better be some cheetahs up in there. Excellent! Mountains can also cancel out oceans. Oh, oops. Use the abilities of all your giants to cover at least half of your patches in oceans, mountains, deserts, and 
forests. Experiment for different effects. Such as having this uh, mountain right on the plain seems to have made something different than uh, desert. Like for instance, what will happen if I tell this guy to make a forest right there? And also tell this guy to make another ocean over here. And then tell this guy, oh man, oh man, do you feel the creative juices flowing? Mountain! And then mountain! And then mountain! And then mountain! I don't know if he's going to make all those mountains. I think he'll only, probably only do one. Come on, guys. Hop to it. Use those super long legs to get you where you need to go. Do your job, monkey god! <laughs> Let there be trees! Uh, whoops. <laughs> didn't work. Alright, so I guess it has to be a lot closer to the ocean. Well, let's check on this guy. No, no. Go to him. You are very slow, mountain man. Build that mountain. Nope. Why? Why can't you build a motion? Right to bar. Why, why can't, why, why is it not, maybe they have to be connected, like one block or something. Oh, I bet that's it. Hey, wait, I wasn't done terraforming. <laughs> I love how the forest is on the edge of the desert. That makes sense. Well done! You have accomplished your goal! I don't know why I'm trying to sound like Deckard Cain. You have learned to create oceans and forests, mountains, and deserts. You hope the life blooming from your lands will remain while you slumber. Click to continue and view all your achieved developments during this game. Stay a while and listen. Yeah! Let's get some... Serious terraforming. Everyone, on, uh, 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 blah, 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 blah. press like if you play Sim Earth or like any of those off-brand Sim games. I played a lot of Sim games when I was growing up. Welcome to the second era. You can always press the blah blah blah. Once again, you have awoken from your slumber. Once again, you're on barren planet. You need to stop taking naps, dude. Uh, you recall a time when you'd use your giant to create oceans and forests. Man, that was so many minutes ago. You gather all your strength again so the ocean giant and forest giant can reawaken. But yeah, Sim Earth was one where you would basically try to terraform planets, and it was really simple. It was, it was, yeah, but it was pretty fun. And you had to like actually make the air breathable and stuff like that. I also played Sim Ant and Sim Tower and of course Sim City, uh, Sim Theme Park, like a bunch of them, all before The Sims. You sense, by the way, Sims Three is on sale as well, but not very much. It's on sale both on Steam and on Origin. Apparently, Origin is cheaper. Passing this tip on from me to you. If you really want to get it, I would wait until Sims 4 comes out and then it's all super cheap, but yeah. Well, <laughs> super cheap by E standards. EA standards, so like normal game price. Yeah. You sense a faint spark of life deep where, somewhere deep where? <laughs> Grimdark. Deep down below, is it asking for a surface to live on? Uh, sure. I don't understand why it wanted me to have them on top of each other. Oh ho ho, kinky. Anyway. Get to work, little crab dude. I have, I have an idea. After he does that, I'm gonna have this guy. Oh no, you're gonna drown! No, forest dude! Don't drown! Forest dudes can't drown. Shut up. Let's make another ocean. And you, make your forest right here. And maybe, if I put it between two oceans, it'll be like, super duper fertile. Because, as we said, it doesn't matter if there's salt in the water, apparently. <sighs> yeah! Thousands of years of growth and, and evolving instantaneous. Alright. Of at least ten patches. Well done, you sense a change somewhere in a cave. Something small is awakened. You sense a new spark of life flowing through your core, and it seems your forest diet has gained a new ability. Good, I was gonna say this game is really simple. Press a fruit plant ability to make some plants. Right there. That that is the place that plants will rise. You just keep making forests, little dude. We we er, forest. Dead uh oceans. I know words. 
Yay! Now we got people! Oh, they're so cute! As soon as the humans settle, all their thoughts and feelings flow back into you. Creepy. It would be wise to learn as much from these humans as you can. What can I possibly learn from humans? Click on the village to see the village borders light up beneath. Each end of the village border is marked by a bunker or a buoy. Okay. Placing plants, animals, or minerals. Wow, this just got civilization-y. Within the village borders will generate resources. Villagers want to grow by using food, wealth, and technology provided by you. You can tap control to cycle through additional information about what the patches are currently producing. Okay. The blueberry is providing food, so the maximum food the villagers can use is five. The villagers' resources can blah blah blah. Alternative blah blah blah. You can see how much food is blah blah blah. Blah 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 Oh that wait that was already plants Well now there's more plants Have some more plants Can I click on the little people's Prosperity three greed What they have greed Oh nope they are not greedy. Good, good people. Oh, they want bananas. Well, too bad. They are whiny. No, why can't I do it? Up oh, there we go. Cool down. Cool down. That's a word. More plants. More plants. Maybe I should um, not have put an ocean right there. <laughs> Is there underwater plants? Can can that be? Can that be underwater vegetables? I mean. Oh my god, you people are greedy. Buy small plants, blah blah. This will eventually lead to den food. You can always speed things up by adding extra resources. The biggest difference between uh, the faster the food in use will grow. See if you can raise the food in use above 11 using the fruit plant ability. Well, I only have one more place to put it. Um, I can put it in any of these places. Can I put it here? I can! Maybe. <coughs> sea vegetables. Nope. Oh. Well, that didn't work. But he jumped, so he's happy. Can we un un oceanify this? Can you be? Can you not be an ocean anymore? <laughs> I need the, the mountain guy. Ah. Uh, I, I don't have. <laughs> Uh, it probably won't work. I'm gonna have to restart this level. Derp! Yeah, that was fruitful. It's not gonna let me do it there. Why can't I grow fruit inside the village? It's land. I could do it way over there. <sighs> Let's restart. Let's. How do how do I restart? Oh. I guess I have to do this. Load game. No. New game. No. Start. Cool! Planet, you have been sleeping for aeons. What will be left of your lush lands? I like my name is Planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, new plan. Don't put oceans everywhere. I learned my lesson. I'm sorry, crab guy. I'm very proud of you, but enough's enough. No more no more oceans, okay? You just do that right there. You do that right there. Man, this is making me want to play freaking yeah, yeah, yeah. This is making me want to play, uh, 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 der, uh, psst. Black and White 2. There we go. Which was a really fun game. Uh, Black and White, Black and White 2. It was, you had a character, a creature that you would, uh, raise and you could kind of teach it to be a good guy or a bad guy. But you couldn't directly control it. You could only, you know, kind of trying to train it via reward 
and the punishment system. Although I was never very good at training my creatures, but what was nice, it was also a god game. You could build villages and and uh, place buildings and, you know, take care of your peoples. And it was a, it was a pretty fun game. I, I'm sad that they uh, are probably not going to ever make another one um, because it was made by the guy that makes Fable. And Fable sold way more than Black and White ever did. So <laughs> I assume he's never going to make another Black and White game. Which is too bad, because God Games, you know, there was a nice era of God Games for a while before everything else turned into COD and whatever kind of game you call this. I mean, this is technically a God game, but this is an indie game. I guess I mean big studio production of, of God Games I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. But I don't know. We'll find out. You should, we should vote. We should do a petition. More God Games! But not super complicated god games, because I don't, I don't like really good... <laughs> I like ones where, you know, there's some room for error, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at super complicated ones like Civilization, which is sad, because I've tried it multiple times, but it's just like, nope, this is beyond my ken. This is beyond my ability. I wish we could, like, like talk to the peoples. Luckily, they are on a different plane of existence, so they're not going to get stepped on by the gods. I like how they just casually walk along, doing their thing, as these giant gods walk past them. Like, whatever. Those are the, those are the nice gods. They're our friends. They give us food. And Man, that is a barren-ass camp. Did they just, like, chop down every tree in their area? Well done. What if they started building? Tell me more. Oh, the village has started building a granary, and they need your help. Building the granary project has allowed the villagers to gain a specialization. Click on the project patch to view specialization in the upper corner. Danger defenses. This specialization requires minerals to provide its boost. Your giants lack the skill to create these minerals. Completing the project could help remedy this. Above the specialization tab you will see the project's objectives. The project requires a large amount of food in use to be completed. This will be no easy task. Luckily, it seems a giant, ocean giant, has now grown stronger. Wow, he can add domestic animals. That totally relates to oceans, I guess. Somehow. <laughs> go, my little crab minion. Go to work. This will be blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Lush. Lushshire. That's the name of this place, apparently. Is not influenced by danger. Is currently peaceful. It respects the giants. All animals have an effect area of effect. Click on the animals to view their range. Light up beneath. Click on the patch of chickens to view their. Did he just sneeze leaves? It's adorable. In the upper right corner of the screen in the batch banner. Did you notice the symbiosis li listed? Yes, plus three food if a blueberry is within animal range. Well, they're right next to blueberries, so awesome. Placing chickens near blueberries will create a symbiosis for the chickens and allow them to generate much more food. All animals, plants, and minerals have a separate symbiosis. See if you can use the symbiosis of the chickens to easily complete the project. Replacing a few blueberries with chickens could provide you with more food. Oh, I can replace them? Nice. Very nice. Yeah, you replace those bush the blueberries with chickens. Yeah, I don't know why they can't coexist peacefully, but I guess uh, I guess those are pretty voracious chickens. Yay! Oh, that guy looks important. Tell me more, little man. Excellent! Because of your positive influence, the villagers have decreed their ambassador to join you. The ambassador wishes to climb upon the shoulders of your giants and increase their strength. Ooh, finally I get a mountain giant. The rock giant has reawoken, but it is in need of a new ability. Select the rock giant and use the right mouse button to press the text bubble above the ambassador to pick him up. Okay. Pick up that little man! Try really hard not to crush him, please. He's kind of important. I'm kind of a big deal. Oh my god, stop being demanding! 
Do something for yourself. Look, they got a little link. That's a link! Anyway. Select the rock giant. Yeah, 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 we did. Well done. I kind of feel patronized. Every time I do anything, it's like, good job. You clicked a button. Uh, do all the abilities. Patch with the granary to view the specialization. Yeah. I did click the granary. Specializations are an improved form of symbiosis. The specialization allows the village to gain extra improved by minerals placed by the rock giant. Place some minerals with the village's borders to boost their resources. Be careful not to break any symbiosis sizes. Alright, so what's the symbiosis for this? If next to an apple tree, dandelion, or strawberry. Well, I don't have any of those things, so that doesn't matter. Alright. How do I how do I view the symbiosis for the, the greenery? Hmm. Not sure what any of this means, but alright. Uh, so. Let's put a mineral right there. Right on the ocean's border. Punch the ground! Destroy that village! Oh, I mean, help, help that village. Thank you. Excellent! Now they have more food because I gave them precious minerals. I don't understand, but okay. The village has grown and developed greatly since you awakened, but you see, since there is still life roaming the surface, hoping to find a place to settle. Raise a desert of ten patches using the rock giant's raised mountain ability. Be sure to do this as far away from any forest or ocean as possible. Yeah, get to fo get, o get to fo over there, rock giant. Nobody wants you. You get on the other side of that planet. Oh, look at the little cave. That's adorable. Alright, so, this has got 2 out of 8 precious minerals and 41 out of 52 plant. You guys are just hanging. Just, just hang over here, okay? You're making me a little bit nervous. I don't want you to accidentally tromp on anybody. Yeah, here you go, forever alone man. Well, he's got his little villager, but otherwise, forever alone man. Oh man, that desert is going to cover the entire world. What have I done? I don't understand why it gets more fertile when it's, it's, uh, look at the little snakes! Oh, it's a bird, never mind. I thought it was a snake, I was excited, but no, it's a bird. Anyway, why does it get more fertile when it's a mountain? Ah, uh, he's a villager's domestic ability to place some animals in the largest desert. Make sure there's enough desert for the village to set on. If the village is not settling, there's not enough space or there are no resources nearby. nearby. Alright, I don't understand gonna domesticate some rattlesnakes I guess and some coyotes oh man I want a domesticated coyote I saw one just randomly for the first time about a week ago I was driving my friend David <coughs> home and uh, he uh, er, er, and I turned a corner and there was a coyote crossing the street I was so happy because I, I hear them every night because I live in Southern California but it, it was the first time I ever saw one random tangent sorry I'm, I'm trying to cover all the time it takes Crab Dude to walk over there. Here, I'll sing some elevator waiting music. I'm just walking over there, don't know how these tiny, tiny, spindly legs scare my big old body, but hey, I'm a god. Physics don't apply to me. Yeah. Alright. Sudden urge to play Red Dead Redemption. Anyway, do your job. Let that be life. Oh, they're little kangaroo rats. That's sad. That's what they're eating? Kangaroo rats, really? Look! A villager has appeared out of nowhere. Use the ocean giants. Blah, blah, blah. We did that. Uh, yay! A new project will start soon. They got some painted rocks. Okay. A shrine is being built by this pious village. Well, I don't really need the you. The, what? What good is a sh <laughs> what good is a shrine? Okay, desert herders. They get plus five food for every animal within the borders. Well, all right. Specializations activate when a project starts being built. Be sure to always check the specialization when a new project starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we need to put some more animals down. The kangaroo rats generate one food for each pass patch in their range. 
The specialization is providing an extra plus five food for each animal. Nice. Requires wealth. Use the rock giant's precious minerals ability. All right. Yeah. Precious rocks. Sorry, precious minerals. The graphics are pretty nice. They're very clean, but still uh, detailed. It's nice. Yay! The quartz you created only generates 10 wealth. This will slowly lead to 10 wealth in use. We can increase this by making sure the villagers activate the mineral. Minerals can generate far more resources if they are activated. I have to sneeze. <laughs> <coughs> uh, okay, chick, 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 chick it out. Click the minerals to view the requirements to be activated. Uh, okay. Raise the wealth in use by to above five to activate the quartz. Uh, oh, there it is. Five wealth in use. Placing a second quartz may assist you in this, but there's like nowhere to put it. So let's just put it right there. I gotta increase the range of these villages. This is like really small. Also, why did they start their village on the other side of the desert from the food? Yay, it's active! Well done! Your courts are now activated. These courts will now have more symbiosis, which can even more wealth. Let's continue improving this village until it can finish its project. Alright, so. We need more food. More foods. Go on, ocean guy. Make some more tasty kangaroo rats. It's a nice little snack. I, mean, I don't uh, I like kangaroo rats. I don't want them to be eaten. They're too cute to die. It's like Pokemon. But I, I am I regret to admit that I am one of those girls that picks my Pokemon based off uh, cuteness. But I will say that my perception of cute is a little different than most girls, it seems like. Like, uh, I, I think Onyx is pretty cute. I only know, like, the first 150 and a couple of the others, but... Anyway, look, he's dancing! That's adorable! That's... Oh, I'm so easily impressed. Ugh, alright. A shrine, blah, 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 wealth in use, food in use, specialization. Yay! Do -do 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 -do. Fine, I guess we'll do one more. More! Whoa. Why did that one die when I clicked there? I don't know, but I just made four more, so have fun with that. Oh, the hunter killed him. Hunter, why? Why 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 Link? Why you gotta kill all the kangaroo rats? Am I doing alright? We've got plenty of wealth. Now we need one more food. We're almost there. Yay! Yay, we can all be pious and religious and crap now. Excellent work, you have performed admirably. The humans have strengthened your core. You have learned about villages, resources, specializations, and symbioses. The time for slumber has once again come upon you, and you hope the humans will survive until the next era dawns. Nope, they'll use up all the resources and kill themselves as soon as you go to sleep. You can now go try to lead the humans to different developments in an era game. Developments can unlock new plants, animals, or minerals, and progress you through the game. There is also a third beginning to learn about greed, transmutation, and danger. If you're having any difficulties, you can always select the third beginning and blah blah blah. Well, we might as well do it. I like to do all the tutorials so I know what the heck I'm doing. Alright. Let's do one more tutorial. Planet, the humans seem promising, but did they survive your long slumber? I highly doubt it. You can always press blah blah blah, you've awakened, dry, you called a time, and you gave them villages and projects. But without your aid, they will die. Didn't they already die, since the planet's all barren and crap? <laughs> and for a third time, you must recreate humans, because humans are incredibly not sustainable. And hey, we've got a new giant! Swamp giant! Use a swamp giant and ocean giant to create a swamp of at least 13 patches. Alright, do your stuff, crab, crab guy. So I guess I can do it like on the edge? Is, is that what this means? I don't know if there's any point of putting it right next to the ocean. 
Come see the lions only in Kenya. I have no idea why that suddenly jumped in my head. <laughs> yeah, I guess that kind of looks like a swamp. More swamp. More. More swamp. So, uh, I guess it only goes to that edge. That makes sense. Is ocean our only option for water? There's no such thing as, as rivers or lakes, I guess. Is that 13 patches? I don't know. Yay! Thrives with life. The swamp makes a plant rise from the ground, and the plants give techs. Whatever that are. Whatever that even is. Oh, that's so cute. He's like, woo! Yay, plants! Yeah, you go over there, villager. Wow, that guy just clipped through that tree. Whoa! There's a tree inside of that tent. <laughs> that, is, that is awkward. You have trees inside of your tents. That means the technology in this will slowly rise to 7 out of 7. The spirit is allow you to gain some of your strength. The ocean giant has created a new ability. The ocean giant has created the growth aspect. Upgrade individual plants. Yeah! Make those herbs into super duper herbs. What are those things in Pokemon called? Uh, super something? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been too long since I played. Like Super X, I guess. Yay, they're so much better now. Select the growth aspect ability and cast it on the path I did. You will notice the aspect at uh, the lower and right corner, as you can see the growth aspect has an extra food in the place, in the batch of peppermints. <laughs> Let's eat some peppermint. All giants have the aspect abilities which can upgrade plants, blah blah blah, but you sense there is more! An aspect you have placed has kindled a transmutation with the herbs. Click on the patch of herbs and view the patch panel in the upper right corner. Click on the tomato icon to transmute the peppermints into tomatoes! Alright. Become tomatoes! Well done. Aspects can also be used to transmute plants, animals, and minerals into far more that powerful variants. I'm just throwing words in there, sorry. Uh, uh, new accent time. Don't forget that these tomatoes also have a new symbiosis. By using transformations and symbiosis, you can contain complete progress with projects with ease. I can talk. I can read. Really. Alright, so let's see what we've got to do now. I don't know if this is Russian or Scottish. <laughs> The villagers started the school project. It seems the villagers demand this project to be finished within a certain amount of time, but aren't they greedy little fuckers? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yep. 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 Alright, so we need more food and more technology. And suddenly, Russian. Blah, blah, blah. You can always tap space to pause and unpause the game, but you still have to be unpaused to move forward into the next thing. Uh, use your giants to complete the project. Make good use of the specialization. Alright, let's see. What is our specialization? Outdoor classes. Plus two food and attack for each tomato within borders. So obviously we must have all of the borders. All of the plants, I mean. Can this guy... He can. He can make the herb. Go to work, my little friends. Oh my god, you are huge. Kinda looks like E.T. if E.T. was left outside to rot for a while. Although E.T. got sick so easily, I don't think that uh, he would survive outside for any length of time. Alright. Make those herbs super herbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, he's behind! He can't do his job now! Now they must fight each other! Nope. Ah, what? What, what was that? That was weird. The guy did a did a thing. He did a thing. I don't know what he did. I don't know. But let's make that tomatoes. Ooh, tomatoes. Yeah. Be tomatoes. Be be tomatoes. Yeah. Stop making the mans. I swear. All right. So we still need more food and more technology. But there's no more places for ah. Oh, there's no more places for tomatoes unless we do it over here. Suppose we could do it over here. Come over here. Make the plant, make the plant, make the plant. 
Fix the plant, fix the plant, fix the plant. Ooh, it's so shiny. It's so shiny, everybody. Look, come look at the new plant. Marshmallow. I want marshmallows. But no, no marshmallows for you. Only tomatoes. Yay, we have a school now. We don't have to be ignorant little pricks. Wow, that is a very dapper looking ambassador. You have made a great dose of symbiosis with transmutations. I like how she looks steampunk and they're actually basically still cavemen. <laughs> New abilities, blah blah blah. Yes, yes, yes. Swamp giant, pick this chick up. Make babies with her. That's 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 not a horrifying mental image. Yeah. Well done. Well, blah blah blah. We'll turn upgrade your giants. You can now learn about prosperity. Prosperity is the total amount of food in use, wealth in use, and technology in use for all villages on the planet. Sum it together. You can view this in the upper right corner, upper left corner. I know directions. Villages have also a village prosperity, which is the total amount of prosperity for the village. In order to in that new village to settle, you must fill the property bar, which can view blah blah blah. You sense a rumble beneath your surface. Ants are now in your pants. You must do a dance or you will die. Yay, monkey god! Why did you come out of Swamp God's ass? That's horrifying. Using the fruit plant, the blah blah blah, was the result in different plants. Use all of your giants to raise the prosperity above 60. Pay close attention to the prosperity bar. Make good use of the specialization to do this. Yes. So that specialization is just tomatoes. Well, why should I not just make lots of tomatoes then? <laughs> All of the tomatoes would be great. Alright. So let's see. Ooh, what's that? Upgrades a plant with a toxic aspect. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. Let's uh let's not do that quite yet though. But you go make a forest. Go make a forest. Only in Kenya. I don't know what I'm talking about. Upgrades a plant with a leaf aspect. Adds technology and later. So what can I cast this on? I could cast it on these things. I don't know if that will change its property. We shall see. Plant God. Forest God, I should say. Come do your thing over there. Ocean God, you have that, which we've already discussed. Uh, how about you make some... Oh, hey. I think the thing moved out more. It must move out more the more prosperous they are. Well, that's convenient. Alright, so what happened to this? Does it now have... The thingy? I don't know, I can't tell. It looks about the same. <laughs> uh, 0.5 tech for each one food on this patch. Alright. A nomad is about to spawn. In order to settle, the new nomad will also require a habitable area with some animals, plants, or mines nearby. Well, I don't have a, the, the rock guy yet, so I can't do minerals, but I can do an ocean! And I can do a uh, other stuff. Here, go do go make a forest. Oh, that's not much of a forest. Alright, here. No, 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 not there. Not there. Not there. I changed my mind. Here. Here. Do it here. We don't want to drown everybody. Oh my god, we want this! We want that! We want this! You are greedy little mo mother lovers. Greedy little mother lovers. You know what? Toxic plants for you! That's what you get for being greedy little mothers. Have some toxic plants. Yeah! Those tomatoes are now bad for you. I wonder if they'll just like eat them and die now. I don't. I don't know if it's working because it's. I don't see anything happening. Oh, it does. Okay, so it gives them food and also toxic. Is there? Is there a bad thing? <laughs> is there a bad effect to that? I don't know. Let's poison all the food and see if everybody dies. That'll be interesting. Plant god. Go reforest this area now that there's actually water. Little Miss Ambassador. Ambassadore. Can I make her jump off? Nope, I can't. Damn it! Alright. You don't have anything. I can't do anything with you. Are you out of magic? Is that why these are all blocked off now? Alright, cool. It's fine, I guess we'll put some plants. Oh, we can't. Why? Why can't why can't we? Why can't we all just get along? Okay, why why? Why is everything 
marked off. No, oh, did I run out of magic powers? Uh, they're not very good gods. Swamp God creates animals that provide wealth. Okay, I got that. But but now what? <sighs> I don't understand. Explain it to me. Create da, da, use creation on the wet wasteland. Yeah, we did that. We have forest. Okay, fine. I guess it just wants us to keep making forest or something. More forest! More forest. Hum. Do 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 do. Gonna make some forest. Do 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 do. Gonna make some forest and hopefully a new village. Gotta plant some things. Herbs and delicious tomatoes. Except that I'm gonna poison the tomatoes because everybody's really greedy and whiny. Yeah. I kind of want to do fan art of this guy just randomly. He's like he's like a, a ape, but also a goat. All right. Uh. Yay, I have exotic animals ability. Now I can make rich people have happy pets. Or not happy pets. <laughs> Rather the opposite of happy pets. Have exotic pets that will make the rich people happy. There we go. Alright, the swamp giants can now have exotic animals that would provide wealth and prosperity. No, I won't. Is that food? Where did that come from? Did I put did I put that there? I must have put that there and forgot about it. I have a good memory. Here, make some peacocks or something. Or something. Yay! Poison dart frogs! Awesome! That are as big as the people are. <laughs> ah, Alright. That's a plant only. Okay. Okay, he wants me to do it in the forest. So come over here, do it in the forest. Do your business in the forest. That will obviously end well. Just put some giant poo in the middle of the forest. That was actually part of uh, what you could do in uh, in uh, black and white too, is you could have your creature, you could teach your creature to poo in various places. Is that a ferret? Or some, what is that, a fox? A deer? I can't tell, whatever. It's cute, I want it, it's mine now. What, what is that? What even is that? A stoat. Oh, that's not as exciting. Anyway, you can teach him where to poop, and you know, like you could have him poop in the middle of the granary and poison the granary, or you could have him poop in the field and somehow fertilize the field, even though straight up poop isn't really that fertile, fertile but yeah. The giant swamp god, blah, blah, exotic animals, blah, 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 blah. You've created stoats. Okay. Now what's my goal? I should have read that. I didn't read it. <laughs> That's that's happening. Uh, how's our how's our desert? Oh, that's right. That was the last game. Um, who makes the desert? Oh, the yeah, the mountain god makes the desert, but we don't have mountain god. Darn it! We need more villages. Okay, here, make more forest. More forest. Oh, there's not enough. Okay, never mind. No more forest. No more forest. Put an ocean over there. <coughs> All right. Uh, now, now, what is my goal? Uh, school, blah blah. These people are like, oh my god, give us meat, give us like freaking things to drink and plants and stuff. Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, the things are crossed out again for some reason. Guess I'll throw some more exotic pet, pet yeah, animals. Exotic animals. More stuts, stuts for everybody. Foxes, blah blah blah. Transmute with a lesser exotic aspect, lesser predator aspect. How do I do that? Plus wealth if there is a mineral within animal range. Well, I can't make minerals yet. Ah. Did you make it? You made your thing. Cool. Now let there be a forest, always. All the ways, all the ways, all the ways over here. I don't know it's gonna let me make more things because they're all blocked off for some reason and it won't tell me why they're blocked off. Blah. Now 
what? What is what is the goal? What am I supposed to be doing here? Was that Northern Lights? I don't know. Wah! That little zoomed out. A little, little too much. Are you guys happy? What do you want? You want technology? And stuff? Alright. Let's, uh... What can I do? What can I cause to happen? I could throw some more exotic animals. Right there, I guess. On the toxic tomatoes. I don't know if that's good, but... It's only for plants. That's all blocked off. Does that have the leaf aspect? Nope. Let's give it the leaf aspect. Come on, do your job. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna give a leaf aspect to these tomatoes and see if that lets me do something new. Yeah, probably won't, but it's okay, cause I don't even know what I'm doing. That's just me and God games. This is probably like one of the simplest God games I've played <laughs> yet. Uh, it might get more complicated. It probably does get more complicated, but that's why I don't play complicated games. What are those? They're so small. Chickens. Those are odd looking chickens. Alright. Do we, we, need, we need blueberries. What happened to all our blueberries? Uh, I can't do things. I, I don't know. Whatever. We'll just put more things, I guess. Ah, oh, we can't! Ugh. We can only put forests. Only forests. Why is there needs to be a thing that tells me what we need to do? <laughs> That's all the way up. Twenty-five. Yeah, I got it. Now what? How do I open up the last thing? Uh. Unlocks? Yeah, it's not useful. I'm an ocean god, chilling in my ocean. I got giant claws that could also be eggs. I look like a giant crab. I got powers of making oceans. I'm really cool. Look at me, girls. Look at my way. I don't question that big old crack down the middle of my face. It adds to my overall handsomeness and super duper grace. My eyes are special glowy green, but I promise I'm not evil. I just look really cute and evil at the same time. Hey, don't question it. Tumblr. Haha, I finally made something happen. Well done, a new villager spawned. It's a habit of areas, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, cool. We have stoats. Stoats have symbiotes. Some, yeah. That word that I can't say. What is their symbiosis? Stoats, what is your power? Symbiosis. Yes, mineral and range. You sense a rumble! Oh dear! Earthquake! No, it's just the mountain god. Come to join the party. Hello, mountain god. How are you? Why don't you come over here and make some precious minerals? So th the stars can be super happy. Oh, huh. Hold on. Yeah. You replace those stones <laughs> with... Actually, actually, I don't think he has to make it right there. I think he can make it right there. So good. No stones have to be turned into minerals today. Maybe. We'll find out. Oh my god, he's slow. Hustle, mountain man. Hustle. Where even is he? Where is it? Where, where is he? Mountain man! Oh, you went the opposite. Okay. Look how friendly he looks. He's just like, derp, 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 I'm on across this ocean now. Yeah, I don't know why I sound like Jenna Marbles. Derp, 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 I'm on across this swamp right here. I'm gonna trap on all these little pretty frogs. Sorry, little frogs. You gotta die, apparently. Oh no, look, I'm avoiding you. Look at that, I'm so thoughtful. I'm gonna step over here and just cross by this village. Hello, everybody. Hello, I'm just your friendly mountain of the giant. I won't, uh, I won't kill you, I promise. Oh, here we go. All right, I'm now in the forest. Hey, little stones, hey, little stones, I hear you like wealth. Hey, would you like, would you like to be the pounds of crowd? <laughs> here, here you go, I have some uh, purple kryptonite. Yeah, yeah, purple kryptonite. 
Yay! Oh, it's a gate. I don't know. I'm gonna call it purple kryptonite anyway. Do you remember blueberries working well with chickens? <gasps> blueberries also have a symbiosis which works well with other plants. Oh, man. Use the fruit plant ability of the forest giant to create some blueberries in the forest. All right, then. Let's do it. Forest giant. I can finally do things again. Yay. Blueberries. I need to walk faster power. Ooh, this is really hard to get dizzy from because it's very slow. Ah, you know the circle aspect of it makes me think of Odin Sphere. Another awesome game that everybody should play. Always, always play Odin Sphere. I mean, the gameplay is nothing like this. It's uh, I don't even know what you call it. Side scroller thing. But it's awesome. It has a great story and there's five different characters and they all have different moves and it's really nice. I love that game. I think I did a review of it on my old channel, actually. Uh, select the blueberry and check the symbiosis in the corner. Plus 10 food if next to an apple tree, dandelion, or strawberry. Hey, I remember where dandelions are. Blueberries can transmute. So, well, fine, but I need to make more. <laughs> I need to make more blueberries for that thing to work like that. What? Why are you not letting me put it there? Put it there. Put it there. Now we can become strawberries! Yay, strawberry fields forever. Okay, placing blueberries next to strawberries will create a symbiosis for both the blueberry and the strawberry. All right. Before you continue, don't forget that you can always tap this bar to pause the game. You can still issue action from your giant wall pause. Yeah, you keep telling me that. Blah. Okay, cool. What, what is their project? What is your project? What is your quest? Uh, shri uh another shrine. All right, well, we need wealth. Let's pop some wealth in over here. Precious metals. Precious metals right here. Yes. Oh, that's, that's too far. It has to be within... Oh, nope. We're good. We're good. Actually, you do the precious thing right there. Right freaking next to the shrine. It will overlook the shrine. People will only have to walk ten feet. Which is great, because maybe they'll bitch a little less, a little slightly less. I like how those saws are larger than the people. They have no arms! They must be from Homestuck. Lol. Anyway. Uh, make good use of your strawberry studs and get some blueberries. Okay, well, we need studs. Let's make some studs. Hey, studs. You be here now, okay? Okay, everybody is happy now. And then we're gonna make some herbs. It's like no place to make, put the herbs, but we'll put the herbs somewhere. All right, so let's have some herbs over here. Oh, there's stouts, okay. Well, now we have twice as many stouts, so that's cool, I guess. Why, why do they have all this space that they don't even use? Ugh. Ugh. And we need the gates. Okay, we got the gates. That's, that is a thing. So actually, we have the stouts. Let's, uh, uh, maybe we should replace that with something. What's this? Muck bomb! Whoa, that's d dangerous. D -d -d dangerous. I don't think we want that. What can you do? You can growth aspects. So if that has wealth in, no, with lesser exotic aspect, lesser predator aspect. So how do we do all that stuff? Creates an aura wave, healing and speed boosting the first giant it hits. Can't heal the ocean giant. Well, that sucks. All right. Make good use of your strawberry stoats. Blah, blah, blah. How? How do I even? Do we have any plants? We don't have any plants. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, here. Make plants. What is that? That's dandelion. And we can turn it into strawberry or into nightshade. Well, nightshade is not good. Uh. 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 We need more wealth. Nope. We need more food. Oh. That's why people are not. <laughs> uh. Stuts. They get more wealth. And. 
That's more wealth if next to an animal nest. Well, as soon as that moves, we can put the stoats there. So actually, we don't we don't need. Well, no, because that is getting plus two wealth. So we have plenty of wealth. We are overwhelming. We are drowning in wealth. Although, the real question is, how is thing? How are things wealth? if there's no food <laughs> what has wealth things that are in demand have wealth that's pretty obvious I mean that's what Atlas Shrug, Shrug says uh, blah 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 my brain is shutting down <sighs> more foods 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 oh we need the domestic animals that's that's a thing that's what we should do uh it, uh, where can I put this? Where I can put this, I don't know. <laughs> Let's put it on top of this thing. Sorry, stoats. You gotta go. Nobody needs your luscious fur coats right now. We need food. <laughs> fur coats can't really protect you when you're dying of hunger. Although it is interesting that all these people were like, Oh my god, let's, let's dig up minerals and make for coats and totally not worry about the fact that we're starving to death. <laughs> and hey, these guys should be happy because they're right next to the blueberries. Alright. Oh, we still need more food! Wait. More tech if next to a plant. If only I had room for one more domestic. I, I do! I do have room for more domestic. Yay! I keep thinking that they have to be right next to them for some reason. And hey, look, I got some blueberries over there, too. So everybody's happy. More food. Yay! An ambassador wants to join me. My specialization has become extremely prosperous. Awesome. Where's, where is she? There she is. Go pick this chick up. Wow, she's kind of a cool-looking girl, I guess. Uh-oh. Has become extremely greedy. Select the village and use the village panel to see how greedy all village has. Yeah, greedy motherfuckers. Fellas. Oh man, look at look at all those red faces. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, village has gone insanely greedy. That's insanely greedy. Unpause the game and click next to continue. Witness how the village falls into complete chaos. The conquistadors are here. Oh dear. Looks like we got to put the fear of God into them. Destroy them! Use your rock giant or swamp giant's attack abilities to destroy the village! How about both? How do I attack them? Earthquake! Yeah! Smug bomb! Yeah! And you might as well use that on them. Yes! Die, little ones! Die! Let me put the fear of God into your stupid faces! That's what happens when you're super greedy. Life Path Tribe has been destroyed! Well, what a shame. Well done! One village stood tall and strong while the other's greed led to its own destruction. Activate new developments by having the villagers develop in different directions. In doing so, you will unlock new plants, animals, minerals, and projects. Maybe one day the humans will be able to take care of you while you slumber, or they will try to slay you because you are the denizen of that area. Click the uh, continue to view all your achieved developments during the game. Complete developments to unlock the new plants, animals, and mines. The end! Alright, well I think that was plenty of uh, gameplay of Reyes. That was all the beginning tutorials. So if you have enjoyed this game, you should skedaddle over to Steam or possibly, I don't know, you can try Amazon. I'm sure there's other places where you can get this game. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a download only. but And you, you too can create worlds using your adorable little gods. They are very cute. That is probably the best part of this game. And uh, yeah, uh, and go ahead and vote for uh, what game you would like to see me do a one shot of next. You can just throw a name out there in the comments if you want, or uh, you can uh, put it on the Facebook page, the Games Life for Fight Facebook page, which the link is in the face is in the description. Uh, and if I can, and if enough people want it, I will make that let's play happen. Just uh, I do suggest you go to the channel and look at the playlist lists of playlists and make sure I'm not already doing a let's play of that game because I do get a lot of requests to let's play games that I have already let's played so pay attention before you leave comments like that 
Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, like if you like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!